Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Right. Let me. So, uh, well, like we'll I can say, you can probably like. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Had a clean. It's had a clean. I can show it off if I want. What? Is it? Yeah. Ooh. So what have we got here? Just letting you know, guys. This is what? All right. Sock delivery. They're the grip socks that is letting me try. That's my Monterrey delivery order. Oh! Oh no! Oh, naughty! Pink socks. They don't. They're not red, even though they look red, didn't they? Love. Black with white on. Yeah. White and black. Yeah, they've seen them, but they're still good, aren't they? Blue ones in there somewhere. Yeah. He's counting them all up. He says they're there. Okay. Love it. Have a pair of socks, mate. Oh, on me, mate. On me. Oh, oh, sailor. Hey. Hey, you guys. Meetings, meetings. No, but honestly, mate, treat yourself. What? Treat yourself. <laughs> oh, you're too good to me. You are. What's your What's your ambassador code? Uh, so I'm in twenty. I've just made it all. Twenty percent off. No way. Huh? You just don't look happy. No. Hey, so let's chat. So Bitch Face has been out in full force for quite a while now. I, th I think I've said somewhere I'm out of my rut, which is somewhat true, I am, but not fully. I know in a previous video, Luke mentioned that we were both taking Meta Black, recommended, recommended by AJ. I gave it a week and a half. Time of the month was coming. I had an ulcer, which gave me a massive headache, so I didn't know if that was just like a side effect or what. Decision made to come off it, so I would messaged AJ like, look, it's not for me, it's making me feel like shit, it's giving me headaches every single day, um, making my tongue feel furry, teeth feel furry, whatever. So anyway, I took it out, so today's the first day without it, and I feel better already. I mean, I've still been a bitch, as you've seen, but that's just me. Today is also the first day I've been snacking on veg sticks. Now, I think I was just being a stubborn bitch again, not wanting to snack on veg sticks. I've nearly caved in four times, I'm not even gonna lie. This prep is really hard compared to the last prep. I don't even know why, I can't put my finger on it. Just keeping it real. It's really hard. It's really, really, really hard. Um, but yeah, we do these things, don't we? So we just keep grinding. And I've not picked the camera up much lately either, but, it is what it is. Going for a twilight spa session tomorrow with Kim and Kirsty, two of the muscle coach coaches for Kim's 30th, so that'll be nice. Obviously no drinks or food or whatever. Um, but yeah, there's my update. Just want to give a shout out again to Spox for literally landing these new grip socks. Cannot wait to try them on, especially with football pre-season. Well, a couple of months away. Hopefully prevent me from getting monstrous blisters. Oh, the one and only. Again, collaborating with Spox. Yes, I've decided to kit myself out with the very own Muscle Coach branded socks. These, by the way, I can't even tell you the quality. <laughs> it's better than Nike. Damn! Just so you know, guys, these are now on the website, which... I'm just going to put the link below. So make sure you go and check them out. They are literally selling out quite fast. Just make sure you get yourself a pair. Treat yourself. So I just want to give a shout out to Monterrain for sending us across this free package. Basically, it's a bit of like a fleecy material. It looks like this is a bit of like a reflector or it at least brightens up when the lights go on it. 
car lights, for example. To be fair, the clothing seems more like a mountain, outdoor style kind of hiking clothing. So, you know, because I hike a lot and walk a lot, well, get steps and I might just wear it when I'm on the walking pad. And then, uh, you know, we should kind of fit into it. I hope you get my sarcasm, but on a serious note, really excited to wear this. And the biggest thing that I kind of pride, especially even our merchandise on and I suppose any kind of brands that send us stuff out, the biggest thing is the quality. So I wouldn't have really, I suppose, even kind of accepted this offer. And again, I have to kind of give a shout out to Sean because he was reaching out to us asking if I'd be willing to just try out the products, give them honest feedback and then kind of plug them in. And seeing as I did a bit of research on the website, I was like, hey, these look pretty decent. Send it out and I'll let you know what I think. So... Yeah, I'll give you honest feedback, guys. I want to wear it, but for now, I'm just going to try it on and see what I think. Saturday morning, off to the gym to get in the last abs and the last five out of five stainless sessions in. Uh, come to the conclusion the watch doesn't stay on now for cardio because I just don't want to calculate the step difference now i know that's pure laziness but one less thing to think about so yeah do it watch let's go off the machine happy saturday and here he is look as well so that is it me done for the week 20 minutes fasted hit on the spin bike and then an upper session just about to head to sainsbury's getting some sweets not for me though I promise it's for Leah, one of my clients from Bath. She is having a photo shoot today. So this has been a long journey. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but so, so excited. She's absolutely smashed it. And now is the time to show it all off. So getting the sweets ready, getting some petrol, and then heading off to Alex's house to basically get the show on the road. So really, really excited. Can't wait to show you all what goes on. I'm videoing. Alex, say hello to the camera. Can you uh, keep things in a tidy sort of angle? All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, we just gotta make it perfect for Alex. Say hello. Hello, guys. <laughs> Leah, spotlight day. Yeah. This is where it's gonna happen. Oh yeah, so uh, you can't go on a walk, you are busy. I know, I'm going to spa. Well, we were going to go on a walk around the res because we're trying to just not cry too much that we can't go to like the waterfront on a sesh today. Uh, imagine being on that. <clears throat> 23 degrees. The sun is on. I know. We're gutted, not going to lie, but then again we think we're going to start to enjoy the summer in about seven weeks time. After a holiday. Seven, seven and a half weeks. This weather better stay around or at least get better, eh? Yeah. Clock tower. Just give you a tour. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> That's not my crib. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you know what was funny though? Yeah. It's like. Talk to the camera. No, no, I'll talk to you. Okay. I took a photo like here and obviously I had, had the clock tower in the background oh, yeah. and people was like. No way do you live there, I'm like, yeah, no, that's not where I live. Same place every week. We're at the Rev. Absolute shock. With a uh, black Americano with sugar free vanilla. Black Americano? You're not going to believe this. With <laughs> sugar free caramel syrup. I'm trying it. I'm trying it, Craig. Are you okay, hon? <laughs> oh my god. No Easter egg for us. No, I know. I had the, I had the Easter egg in my dream. Dinner. Did you? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Well, you didn't tell me that. I'm telling you now. Okay. Saving them for the next seven weeks, but. In, we... I want for me, yeah? I want for me as well. Oh, God. 
views for days. Views for days. So we are back from the walk, our little walk around the rest. Uh, two laps gets me 8,000 steps because I've got a little legs, you know. Um, so now the plans are, well I went back and had meal one at um, 12 o'clock-ish, which was three eggs, 50 gram of peanut butter, have that all in one. Whoa, uh, I used to split that and have 25 gram of peanut butter on a big or thin, but you know, girls not got that no more, so it's all on the egg. Uh, so yeah, plans are go to Morrison's, fill up the car with petrol, Morrison's is the cheapest place, FYI, if you need to know that. Um, top up shop for veg, I need to get some Pepsi Max and also Monsters. And then I'm off to Mum and Dad to give my car a clean. Obviously it had to be pink. That comes everywhere. Okay, we didn't go to Morrison's because it's bank holiday Sunday, isn't it? It's Easter Sunday and everywhere's shut. So I had to go to the co-op instead. Love that. So, picked up... Um, Salad, Pepsi Max, Terry, Monster. What's your favourite colour monster? Let us know in the comments. Now it's time to transform the dirt. I said this would happen. She would come to the car damage and Dad would do it for me. <laughs> Really do that because if you did, I wouldn't be here. You slurp, you go all the time. <laughs> I need to things to come together. I really like this little video that you put together. Um, uh, you comparing the um look from 10 weeks ago to now, and I'm sure put a little bit of rest in your head. Um, uh, I know obviously you know you've been getting stressed, you've been feeling a bit down, you've been upset, but I hope seeing that you know, seeing them pictures and videos next to each other shows you that what you're going through is obviously going to be worth it in the end. What's going to happen in the next coming weeks? You're going to be tired. Um, you're going to get brain full. Or I don't know what um, English people call it. I don't know what it's called. Where, uh, like, basically, where, <coughs> no, you just Did it go up? Or something, and basically, you'll just go here. Yeah. You'll get that. You'll feel heavy when you walk. You every day to day activities will become very difficult. Simple things like getting up to go get your food will piss you off. Trust me, it will be irritability. Stay on top of it. We're just gonna stay positive. Like for me, back things look great. But honestly, like this is cleaned up so much compared to where it is here. Waste is just come right in and look at your back compared to here. It doesn't even look like, yes, it is slightly smaller in respect, obviously, there's not as much fat in it, but look at the sort of like rewards you've gotten from it. With, like, you know, the definition coming through, the arms are coming in, like things look really good now. Carb is 45. 200 so calories. Calorie which is what I did not want to be, which is why I was last time. Here we are again. Yeah, but you, you're 1200 calories seven weeks out. Yeah, rub it in. No, I'm just saying that. What? No, I'm saying it's a lot, it's a lot further out. It's getting it down, isn't it? Anyway. Just as I got out of the rut, I'm heading back in. I'm heading in the rut with you. <laughs> I have worked out my splits. Basically, I'm on about 2060 calories, pretty much averagely. Daily, um, my changes. Oats is out on both days. Wraps out. Rice cakes have gone from five to three. Uh, training day meal chicken's gone up two hundred gram, and non-training day chicken meals one hundred and seventy-five gram. But beef mince is two hundred gram, so basically proteins up a little bit. Carbs have rapidly dropped, and fats. Have stayed the same, so carb drop. Carb drop pretty much. So to actually put it into context, my carbs are about one. Well, the one six nine on a training day, and one four seven on a non training day. Right, so just three point nine kilos and scales about point one. <laughs> How did you do that? Hey. How did you do that? Last week I got point three. Um, good thing is obviously what we're last week. Obviously we wanted to be around the A3 mark just to be ahead of the game. 
I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> why is he that? I don't know! Well, there's still a lot of ammunition to play with, hence why you see your food change. So for the next couple of weeks, we're going to push really hard. Um, carbohydrates are below 200 now. Um, I'm not going to, you know, make any sort of, like, not put you under no illusion and make you think that, you know, like, this is going to be easy because it's fucking not. The next couple of weeks is definitely going to be, you know, food coming out, um, managing stress, managing... Um, it's probably sound like a broken record at this point. Managing stress, managing recovery, managing um, sessions, managing en energy. Everything now is about management, right? <clears throat> Come together. The chest is separated. The shoulders are coming apart. Um, and the arms as well, again, coming apart, mate. But everything still looks strong. Everything still looks thick. And we just got get we just have to get rid of that bit there now. And I, I remember last time it was just always the low back. Yeah, that that was the last thing to go. If I if memory serves me correct, that was the last thing to go. It was like it was frustrated to have to say that's so much more in yeah. it, so much more yeah. in depth. The yeah. thing is, with the tan, the tan helps quite a lot as well. It does a lot with it, so that's another bonus. That's so another obviously mentioned. we're gonna be tan all through this. And we just need to make sure we stay on top of everything. Maybe we have to change the yeah, change is starting from as soon as you can. Um, as soon as you can, start from now because you would have already started eating. By the way, it's the same thing when you're done training in the oats. I'll add your chickens up to 175. I'm putting a message anyways, but yeah, mate. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the rest of the day. If you have any questions, let me know. Dig deep. I'm on the other, on the other side of that phone. If, if you need to speak to me, to obviously keep a little bit of motivation, just keep going. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. What? what do you need? It's not meal packing on this veg. Just meat and veg, I mean, really. Ugh. To be honest. Veg sticks! Veg sticks for life. Little date, man. My food cheat. $150 chicken. 80 gram. 50, 80, that's gone, that's gone. <sighs> 1200 calories, I can't, I can't believe it. If I'm being honest. <laughs> I'm not in my life. Run out of the old all season, all season spice from Lidl saved my life. So yeah. Also, the barbecue I'm the same with, I need to go and get some more.
Yeah, it's up because you're eating, you've trained, blood's what? pumped up. Or I'm pumped, mate, I'm making my arms pumped up. No, I can see it, I can see your chest is fucking. What is it? Push chest. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> see, this bit's I coming on it. And obviously, with it being, obviously, everything being peripheral, I'm in bulk and when I start to see all this stuff coming, it's gonna be excited. Up here, it's like, obviously, the moon's come off. Yeah, of course. No, like, no word of the moon's come off, and obviously, that's gonna happen next year. So, you're in a good food chamber, we're making for you and the family. Yeah, it's all that. He's not the He's not the type of man, he's not the type of man. I should say every week since as well, but it's just, just gonna keep pushing. I was thinking, you know, I'm like, oh, so I'm 2,000 calories, like just over mm. 2,000 days, like, I'm thinking that's like, seven weeks out, like we, I'm sure we got to them calories, like a couple of weeks out, do you know what I mean? So I know you're going low and it's like, I'm going to be on low amount of food for weeks, but that's what's just going to take it all off, I suppose. Yeah, but well, if you look at it from your math, like, when you math, I just didn't fucking tell you. If you look at it from like, a perspective of last year, we weren't planning to grade two weeks old. Mm. Ah. Are those tights getting. Yeah. They are tights. Tights, yeah, too big. Look like joggers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah. <sighs> getting too You're not happy about the video you sent me the other day. This is bad representation than I do. Checking. Yes. Yeah. That, like, one where it was going through your elbow from 10 yeah, yeah, yeah. to now, this is so much better. And we're dropping out of the plate. He was dropping a good break there. And now we're dropping at like being yeah, a battery. And like that's the thing, because normally when you start dropping, like normally you, you would see these big drops in the beginning, right? Um but with us we're going the other way. But we're here for it, mate. I'm here for it. Yeah. I'm fucking here for it. As long as it comes, as long as it comes up, I'm telling you last time I was like, Cheese. Let me look at the videos. Let me look at the other videos. Look at the back. Oh yeah. Look at me different. Look at me smile. I know. Look at me smile. <laughs> She just stop smiling. I know, it's <laughs> mad, mate. Honestly, keep it going. Whatever, yeah, just, go. just, just, just. Yeah. Uh, I'm here for the smiles. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Should deal with it already. I'm there, there, there. Yeah. 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 You can just see how everything is just smooth enough. Yeah. And mm, like the little thigh gap starting to come in as well. Yeah. And we all know when the thigh gap comes in. Oh! That's it. Oh, I love it. Thigh gap, <laughs> like legs, uh, legs, uh, legs races for guys. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you've had a great bank holiday Monday. I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to kind of jump on here explain the massive changes that have been going on, I suppose, over the last couple of days. So, just had an in-person check-in with AJ, which you would have seen something that we are going to be doing every Monday on the run-up to the shoot. So, not long now, time is ticking, it's seven weeks on Wednesday, and food drop has been quite significant for us. I mean, if I backtrack four weeks, I was probably just under or kind of at 3,000 calories, and now I'm sitting at just above 2,000. Like I say with AJ today, I was kind of asking him what is you know the purpose of kind of going low so far out, and it's because realistically my weight's not really been shifting a massive amount, and not only that, it's not wanted to second guess. So we're kind of going into the the nitty gritty stuff now, so that two weeks we're ready and we're cruising in to the deadline. I'm not even going to be eating oats, so that's been removed out of both days. Can you, can you see that I'm crying or anything? But no, uh, it's probably the meal that I'm devastated that's gone. And blueberries have been removed and the wrap has gone as well. So all in all, there's over 100 gram, probably 120 gram of carbs being removed out, which as you know, carbs contain water, which means that that'll flush out and obviously tighten me up. This is where I do feel I'm going to be tested. So you may see me looking tired, you may see me just, I don't know, waffling. I mean, I do like to waffle anyway, but you're going to see that. You're going to see my face probably start to kind of like cave in. Um, I, I want to show obviously more training videos, which I will do. Oh, and by the way, if there's anything more that you want to see, I know Abby kind of 
says it all the time, well, please comment below and let us know that what you want to see because I suppose this period of time on the run-up is probably going to be where we're at our lowest. We're going to be hangry. We're going to be tired. You know, like, what, what do you want to hear? What do you want to know? Um, I suppose that's the question I'm asking you. But that's pretty much it from my end. Everything is just... You know, happening, things are moving, so I'm excited to see where these next couple of weeks go, and obviously we'll be sure to kind of update you. So, have a good rest of your day, guys. Speak soon. legs and we've got here 200 gram of beef mince one medium sized avocado and plenty of veg i know it doesn't look pretty but do you know what it does the job and at the end of the day we're on prep life so let's get that fuel in one two hello what's happening guys are we good <laughs> I'm going to share with you the challenges that I had when I first started out my health and fitness journey. And I sabotaged with food. I binged with food. I was lonely. My, my school friends, they all went down the different routes and paths and they leveled up in their life and went down the direction where they needed to go. But that left me in no man's land.